Okay, hi everyone and welcome to Ask It Outdoors. Join me in this one as I do some hammock camping with the English woodsman.
So it's not going to be a silent video, finally doing some talking. Uh, so English Woodsman has joined me tonight as well, so we'll go over and have a chat with him in a little bit. Uh, but as you've seen, I've just set up leisurely and then just made myself a, a nice little sausage wrap in the woods. Uh, a nice coffee I wash it down with. Nice and chilled this camp. Came out pretty early because it is October the 19th and the sun is very few and far between at this time of year. So we've obviously... Uh, I've come out a little bit earlier, I came out about half past one um, to try and get a little bit of filming done in some daylight before the night time took over and ruined all the shots. Uh, so yeah, let's go through some of the gear. So if you're new to the channel, this is my bespoke hammock setup that I made just because of the colours really. Uh, nice and cheap hammock from AliExpress. Um, I think the lowest I've found it at the moment is about £13, £14. I keep getting notifications about it because I've previously bought it. Uh, £13, £14. I think I paid about £20 for it back in the day. Um, and then I've got an underquilt again from AliExpress. And what all I've done is I've cam snapped it on just so that it'll stay in place overnight. And I can take it apart and give it a wash later on. Uh, on the ridge line, you've probably seen when I was setting up got a phone holder clipped into two zipper pulls and my lantern clipped into two zipper pulls and then just a nice simple pocket organizer ridge line organizer whatever you want to call it i've taken bug net off at the minute and it's just stored away in the, the bag here but that can come up later on uh, if we do get a little bit of midges or something and then there's a, a zip cord on there but everything that i've put on this hammock is available on my hammock tips playlist um so underneath as well we've got just another simple hammock with cam snaps installed all that does is drop down and act as a gear sling i did have a net one originally but things get getting caught in it and it was just annoying me just really getting on my nerves so i changed that for this one and then the beauty of it is when you're all packing up you put this over the top and then cam snap along the top again and it just protects what's inside so it protects the actual hammock and under quilt uh, from any elements, any dust, any snagging when you're stuffing away because all this, including the tarp, all lives in one um, big stuff sack now on the top here is the one wind uh, tarp now you can see it's not raining, quite bright at the minute no need to drop it just yet, I will drop it later on because we are expecting a storm in the morning so I better get out there but if you're interested in the one wind tarp I have got um, an affiliate link uh, which I'll flash up on screen for you and it'll leave it down in the description for you as well. Uh, I love this tarp, 
lives in the snake skin and I can quickly deploy it if I need if I choose to or really need to in some bad weather uh, that's about it for the hammock setup let's go over to my kit bag and this is my backpack of choice so this is my snug pack endurance you can see it's got a lovely nice big lid, lid. and everything that I've used today is all fit in here quite snugly excuse the pun um, I've modified it and a lot of this lives on the backpack um, just the, the what the sleep system really and food that doesn't live in it uh, so on the side I've got a fire kit pouch with a couple of different methods of lighting a fire in there got this is the Gerber Versafix Pro um, sort of chopping splitting um, I've got a cheap axe as well in this idea but saving up for a, a better axe but this is just a 12 pound axe just to get me used to it and using uh, sharpening up well owning my uh, axe skills in the woods uh, on this side I've got possible pouch so I've got little bits of repair in there for some gear so I've got some uh, some guy lines some tensioners some pegs a water filter uh, all kinds of stuff in there on here is my phoenix torch this is the tk35 ue that, li that lives permanently on here um, these are we sport uh, raccoon rocket pouches nine liters these don't come on the backpack i'll put them on myself as with these little pa pouches as well i think these are viper tactical or maybe just some cheap chinese uh copy from aliexpress maybe um on the bottom so this is my cook set in here there's all kinds of little things uh, all my spice jars and and whatnot but all kinds of little things to get you through a camp comfortably cooking and um, so you can see in here we've got all the spice jars on the back some tongs a grill uh, the jet boil sort of utensil set a pot gripper uh, this magnetic fork set that I've got uh, a couple of whopping L knives some oil and vinegar and a little blower all kinds of stuff but I've done a full video on this backpack and load out usually what I take camping with me so go and check that out so I'm just gonna finish off a little bit of setup so on the side of the hammock as well I'll just put these bungee balls and then these will just come down to a guy line and it'll just help to bring your hammock out a little bit give you a little bit more room in it nice and simple overhand knot in there simple peg and there's one of them on the other side as well and just bring your excess line back up tie another hand overhand knot into that just clip that into this carabiner so the bungee ball designed to take off the wind now you can see that's the torque guy line this is just the excess and we'll just neaten that up just so it stops it trailing on floor but as you can see there torque guy line and then the excess just coming up looped in nice as you can see there that just widens up the hammock nicely with these two tie out points can get it a little bit tighter if i want to but obviously i want a little bit of sag for me to get in the hammock uh, another thing i forgot to mention is the pillow it's just a nice and simple cheap inflatable pillow but a little tip that i've done is i've just put it on a bungee cord so if it decides to make an escape during the night it's not going to go very far it just drops out you can just reach and grab it back in it stops you getting it on muddy floor so all in all, I think this is the simplest hammock setup on YouTube. Correct me if I'm wrong, go down in the comments, let me know what you think. But yeah, it's nice and simple, all lives in one bag and can be set up in around about three minutes if you're not faffing about filming. No need to bring a chair either if you're in a hammock. You can just come and chill like this. So as I said, I got here a little bit earlier than Dan. Uh, so he's just cooking uh, a light lunch. So that's not all the cooking I'm doing for this video as well. I've got some more cooking to do later on. That was just to sort of put me on, came out early, and just a little sausage butter to keep me going. 
But let's uh, catch up with what we're doing with DR Woodland Wellbeing. So, um, if you've not heard of it before, DR Woodland Wellbeing is exactly what it says. It's a woodland wellbeing group for men in sort of Bradford and surrounding areas uh, where you can come, chill, be yourself, uh, have a cup of tea with us, have a cup of coffee with us, do what you want. Um, and then we cook and provide uh, all the meals, everything you need. So it's literally just turn up and do as little or as much as you want to get involved. Uh, so it's centered around the NHS wellbeing program. And uh, my last video was actually a video for them uh, to start up their own YouTube channel. Uh, but as I filmed it and edited it, I asked if I could have permission to share it on my own YouTube channel, which I did. So I'll flash that up here for you now. Uh, that was just cooking a chili con carne in the woods. Um, with the ingredients that I had, probably for around about 15 people. I think we only had 10 on the day, but um, I'm really getting into that, sort of the, the woodland well-being. Um, I started going for my own fruit and nut, um, and then falling in love with the process of it. And I, I can't sit still when I go somewhere like that, so I ended up getting a little bit too involved, and now uh, they've invited me onto the team, so I'm now part of the team with them, so that's brilliant and another step forward for me so it got me thinking about all the time that i've volunteered uh my time to teach people uh new skills especially some of the skills that i've got um knife skills axe skills uh fire lighting skills all that kind of stuff and it got me thinking about forest school so i've also now uh, been in contact with um a couple of forest school trainers uh, to try and get official qualifications rather than just knowledge of doing these things and then I can obviously be insured by companies if I've got the correct qualifications and things and then start doing something out on my own and you know maybe making a little bit of a living off it rather than just volunteering my time as much as I've loved volunteering my time um, teaching people new things especially the kids you know why not get a little bit of fruit of, of your own labour? So yeah, I'm looking into that at the minute. Um, also want to do a bit more outdoor activities as well. So like archery is one skill that I can do, but I've not got the qualification uh, in rifle shooting, not got the qualification to teach. So again, I'll be looking at all of them. Um, so it's going to cost me a hell of a lot of money to try and get this business off the ground or this idea to get all these qualifications uh, but it's something I want to do, I'm passionate about it, I want to keep going so we shall see even paddle boarding as well, a uh, bit of water sports, that'll be good uh, getting kids and adults out there teaching it's something I want to do, it's something I'm passionate about so I'm going to put all my effort into that um yeah and then hopefully start up my own sort of forest school or something and get that off the ground so yeah stick with me and obviously talk you through the progress of that in fact actually i, I messaged pete forest there i don't know if you're a follower of his um i noticed they were um listed on howell bushcraft i think it is based in yorkshire uh, to go and do an overnight with him um, so I messaged him about that because obviously they get qualifications and skills from them courses as well so I'll go give them a go so yeah stick with the channel I'll see you in a bit right so I've got a full belly for now uh, I've had a coffee and my set up apart from dropping the tarp and as I mentioned earlier I am with the English woodsman Let's see what he's up to. Try and avoid all his guy lines. <laughs> so here he is, look, making some bacon, bacon on and sausages. like a Petromax style firebox stove, firebox stove type skillet. thing. Firebox right. stove skillet. And there he is. The That's the man. The man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> So yeah, let's uh, see what he's in tonight. So unfortunately for him, 
I warned him against bringing a tent tonight because it's a little bit boggy, I'll show you in a second. So it is in the complete one wind hammock setup. As I've mentioned before, uh, I've got an affiliate link. If you go downstairs, you can check out all of this gear on there. Save yourself a little bit of money and help support the channel as well. But one wind tarp and let's go underneath. And you've got the one wind, is that down, down under quilt? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the down under quilt. And I think the 11 foot zipper hammock. So he's taking a leaf out of my book, coming in his hammock tonight. This is what I was saying about ground before. Just a bit too scorchy for the tent. Not like this everywhere. But yeah, uh, just a little bit too boggy for the tent for my liking. Because believe it or not, I was actually thinking about coming in a tent tonight. Um, I have got a couple of tents that I want to get out and use, but though I compromised myself because I, I love the comfort of a hammock and the ease of the setup, and especially like my own hammock that I've set up. But you know, I want to get back into tent camping as well. You've seen a couple of videos ago, I went camping with Paul and I were in a hammock hot tent. I looked at that, so I've been looking at camping beds as well. One of my subscribers, uh, Kevin, and a sort of friend on Facebook now, uh, he sent me a link to a similar camp cot to the one Tigris one uh, on Timu and AliExpress. So I'm going to go have a look at them because I am a cheapskate. Uh, it's an expensive hobby, is camping, but once you've got all the gear, then you, you've got it, haven't you? So, um, but yeah, so I'm going to be looking at all them on Timu, AliExpress, and that, and then. Use a camp cot bed maybe in the hot tent. Um, I've got the new sleeping pad which I've not had a chance to get out and have a, a camp on film with. I have camped with it but I haven't been on camp on film. Um, so yeah, let's uh, see what happens with that. So I'm just going to drop my tarp in preparation for tonight uh, while we've still got some sunlight. I don't want to do it in the dark later on. There's no need for it just yet but with this storm coming over overnight or early hours of tomorrow morning, I do want to get it done and not have to get up in the middle of the night and do it. Right, so there you go, I've dropped the tarp and the beauty of this one wind one you can see uh, it's got a little bit of bungee attached to the second tie out points and that creates a door so it's tighter on the right than we are on the left but opens up, gives you a nice bit of coverage almost feels like a floating tent brilliant Looking for my stuff you use really. Chuck it, chuck it quick. 
close. Seems to be scented as well, don't it?
Right, this hasn't taken long at all, but let me pop a look at it. <laughs> nice and simple, smash burger. Right, so nice and simple smash burger with a bit of garlic and chilli flakes. Mm. I did bring out sauce as well, but I couldn't be bothered, but just look at that. It's taken me all the way back two or three minutes to make as well. So, nice and simple. Well, that's been another good night with Dan. But before I go to sleep, I just want to show you a couple of bits of gear. So normally when I've been getting into bed or in my hammock uh, on a night out, I've been putting in my headphones to listen to Audible or whatever. And that's the P9 Gravistars, but I've, I've picked up these. So these are headphones again, but they're like outer ear ones rather than inner ear. So I found that waking up with the other ones, with, with the inner ear ones in, I was waking up with like a sore ear, and I'd have like a sore ear for a day or two afterwards because I'd like nodded off with them, but with these ones, they just sit on the outside, so they're a lot more comfortable. Now I did film a review video of these, but I corrupted, oh, I just say I corrupted, the file corrupted, and uh, knackered the SD card, so in a little rage, I uh, cut the card up and binned it. But these are uh, much more comfortable in the inner ear one, especially when you're like out camping and sleeping in a hammock or anything like that, because if you roll over, they're not actually pressing in. Um, so yeah, that's them. And then I've picked up uh, some other new gear, which I'll show you at a later time. But just want to go back to tonight. Uh, it's been a great night with Dan. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have making it. Uh, not been a great deal of filming tonight, to be honest, because it's dark, it get, you know, it's miserable. It's 19th of October. So roll on next week when clocks go back again and we're getting dark at four o'clock instead of six like we are at the minute. So who knows? So anyway, I'm going to get some shot eye and I'll see you in the morning. Say good morning to you. I've got to say, I've still got the headphones in. I've got no earache whatsoever, and obviously the audio will be recording through this at the minute. So let me know if this is any different to when I'm filming with the GoPro. Um, Daniel is just alive, but yeah, let me know if the audio is any different. Let me know if it picked that up. Right. Let's say good morning. Well, good morning. I had a comfortable night's sleep. I can just about hear um, some wind picking up. So I'll have a look on the weather app and let you know what it's doing at the minute, but it doesn't appear to be any rain just yet. But I've had another comfortable night's sleep in the hammock. Um, glad I chose it because 
the ground is still sodden a little bit. I got up a couple of times during the night for a, a call of nature and uh, could feel it just a bit squelchy, but I don't think it's rain, I think it's just sodden from before. So anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, give it a massive thumbs up, comment, let me know what you thought about it. And if you've not already, please consider subscribing to the channel where I'm pressing that in the middle. I'll see you in the next one.